So guys, we're on to the next exercise. This is a low row hammer strength. Now, it, depending on where you want to work it, it depends where you put the seat. You put the seat up high, works a different location in the back. You put the seat down low, works the upper part of the back. So we've already worked a lot of middle. Let's work a little bit higher up on the back. So we're going to put the seat lower. Okay, you don't need to go heavy on this exercise. It's not, not anything where you got to break records. It's not that important. So basically we went to, we did a heavy row. So now we're going to lighten it up a, way, a bit and put maybe a plate, 25, and get that squeeze. Okay, so now also with this machine, you could do either overhand grip or underhand grip. We're going to do overhand. He, he lifts all this crazy weight. I can't lift that much. He's throwing things around. He puts four plates on. I can't do that. That's a boy. Beautiful. Two. Never round the chest. Perfect. Chest up. Get that squeeze. Feel the negative. Faster on the pull, slower on the negative. That's it. Slow, faster. Explosion, negative. Explosion, don't rest, don't rest. Okay, pump out three more. One, two, and three, good. So the reason why I'm doing overhand grip is I don't want to hit too much the lower back, so it's not necessary. And plus, underhand grip puts a lot of pressure on the bicep and we don't want any injuries. <laughs> Two sets, right? I did three. That was three sets. Are you sure? <laughs> I only did two. Okay, I'll do another one. Are you, you trying to get away with one less set? No. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, one more. If I can do it, you can do it. How old? How old are you? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. I'm forty-four. Hey, you're you're a man, man animal. <laughs> so I've been doing these workouts back in Tucson, but it's different having him here with me, pushing me. You know, it's I grow more. That's why I need to be here with him all the time. I just grow all the time. You know? So I'm gonna grow from this, of course. Yeah. And eventually you. Eventually you're gonna be in a movie or something in Hollywood. No. That's the that's the goal. Uh, okay, last set. Make it count, big boy. Uh, four. Five. Come on. That's it easy. All day. All day. Come on. Get that squeeze. Feel the negative. Chest up. Come on. One. Two, three, four, five, three more. One, two, and hold it. Chest up, chest up, chest up, chest up. That's it, good. I have to beat him. I have to beat him. 
David, David. Mark, Mark. Gold, so Trick, gold. Jack, can I thank you oh, for man. being Jack? Dude, hey, let me step this. If I look half as good as show you, them, show, if show I look them. half as good as this guy, show them your back. Come on, show them the whole thing. Look at that. Look at that. You think he's the next big thing? He, he the next is. Sensation? He's on his way there, I can tell you. He, uh, he played football. Yep. Amazing. How did you know? Amazing. I could look at his body and I could tell. <laughs> what did That's you the neck, right? <laughs> You know, when your neck is thicker than your head, you can take a day off. Look at the hands. Look at the hands. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, amazing. This go. guy's a monster. Hey, no, if I, hey, if I look half as good as this guy when I'm his age, man, I'm, I'm going to be... Dude he, dude, he has a good hairline. He's, got, yeah, you know, he's jacked, man. Yeah, it's, like, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, hey, thank, thank you for being here. Bless him. It's great to meet you. Thank you. He's got a big future, don't thank you sir. think? Hey, thank amazing. you, brother. Thank you. So I'm going to teach you a little bit how to pose, just a little bit of tips before the next exercise. We don't have a lot of time, we want to keep the intensity going in our workout. But when you do your poses, you always want to make that X frame in your body, okay? So that X frame is what makes your waist look small, makes your V taper look bigger. So what, when you pose, you always want to put one foot out to the side, okay? So what that does, it makes your waist come in and it gives you that X factor, exactly. But don't straighten this completely, slight bend. There we go. Okay, go up into your pose, make yourself look big. That's it. Right. Stomach and diaphragm, blow the air out of your diaphragm. Right here. Think you, that's it, perfect. See that now you have that X frame. Perfect. Excellent. And when you do a back pose or a lat spread, it's the same thing. One foot to the side. You're not going to do this on stage, are you? Yes. So this slightly back, bend, flex the hamstrings, hamstrings, glutes, open up the back. There we go, that's a pose. Make sure you're a little straight. Point this knee out. That's it. There we go. There we go. Perfect. See, now you have that X frame. See the difference? Because you, you got, you see, the thing is when you're posing, you're thinking of only your upper body. You're not thinking about your legs. But when you're on stage, these judges are looking at everything. Everything. Even when you're on the side resting, they're looking at you. So you always got to be composed and you always got to make sure you're at the right angle. Hiding your weaknesses and bringing out your, your good body parts. Yes, sir. That's the secret. Are you getting these secrets? So basically we're gonna do a cable row, slight bend in the legs, chest up, get a good stretch on the bottom to open up your back, but don't, don't round your back. You never wanna round your back. Pull with the arms first, chest up, 90 degree angle. Don't go back like this. Everybody, you know, goes like that, that's wrong. Stretch, pull. many different grips on this you can have a wide bar you can have close grip this is the triangle grip close grip it works the density in the back so whatever portion of the back you're hitting whether it be middle upper or lower this grip here is going to build that inner thickness that density so back in my competitive days back was my strongest uh, body part so whenever I was working out with Jay it was always great because uh, he, he knows I'm pretty strong in back, so it was good for him because I was able to, we were able to push each other, which was really, really, really good when I was training with him. It was awesome. You fed off of each other. Yeah, that was you it. Fed off of each other. We both have good endurance.
So I like to do high volume in my training. So when we train back, the first couple exercises I'll do four sets, five sets, but as I go along, I end up maybe doing only two sets per exercise. Three, you know, three sets per exercise. Yeah. Or I get burned out. I'm because, you know, the back is such a big muscle. There's so many areas you can work out. You know, your upper back, middle back, lower back. So in my workouts, I like to hit a full range. So you got to do a lot of different exercises. So a lot of people train back. It's not uncommon to do over 30 sets for, for back, for a back workout. You know, I, back in the day, we used to do 33 sets for back. 33 sets. It's ridiculous. There you go, come on. Come on. Come on. That's beautiful. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five more. This is easy. Chest up. Breathe. Breathe. Come on. Get it. Come on, Dave. Come on. Five more. Come on. One. Last set. Two. Come on. Three. Come on. Four. One more. Five. Good. Okay, let's go guys.